it's Janie from Savvy for Life. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm an interior designer and this channel is all about creating a beautiful home and living your best life. And for the design of this room, my client is a little girl and when I asked her what she wanted, she said she wanted mountains and a sunset. So to combine both, uh, I decided we're going to give her a mountain sort of scenery with sunset colors. And her style of the room is going to be have a little bit of a bohemian feel to it. So these are the colors that I selected. And I basically went to the local paint store um, and just picked out some colors that I thought would give it that feel for sunset. And which are, so we're starting off at the bottom here with sort of like a darker blue gray. Then we're going into an, um, a burnt orange. And then from there it's going to go from dark to lighter and then sort of like a medium burnt orange. Then we're going into this dusty rose which I absolutely love and then a lighter version of that and then we're going into this sort of mustardy yellow color. And my client already had the turquoise on the wall so I decided not to paint over it but actually to use it for her skyline color. So that's going to be sort of up here. And for the mountain design, I literally just took a pencil and just kind of started uh, from the bottom up and, you know, just did where I thought felt natural. I had to step back a few times and I recommend you doing that to just take a look on it on a wider scale. That way you can, you know, if you make a mistake or feel like something is off, you can just take an eraser and just do it all over again and it's super easy. There's no right or wrong to this design. It's just whatever feels right. And for the colors, we went with sort of like the sunset kind of bohemian color scheme. But what you can do is you can actually do um, sort of like a, uh, you can pick one color such as like a navy blue and go from dark all the way kind of up, kind of giving it like a lighter shade on each mountain um, horizon. So that's another really cool way to give it that interesting feel. But in this design, we're going with these colors and I just wanted to post it up there so that I can see what, um, what it's going to look like once it's done. And I think I'm really happy with this color. Uh, there's actually another one up here that you probably can't see, but I'm going to use, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this color to a white paint so that I can just give it a very, very light version um, of the background um, for the last horizon. And for the actual paint itself, I just went to my local hardware and I got these little samples. They're like four or five dollars. I went with a little higher quality one, uh, which means I only, I only need one coat. And because the wall is not super big and because I'm using so many different colors, I was just able to get like six testers which cost less than $30 and for under that I'm going to be able to draw in this mountain scenery. And you don't need a lot of paint so I think those testers should be enough and if you do run out you can always just get another tester instead of having to buy a quart. Alright so let's get started with painting. I'm going to actually start from the bottom up, go with a darker color and sort of see how it works up going lighter and lighter. Um, don't forget to also put something on your floors to cover that up. I did take out the uh, vent grate and I put a, a drop cloth down so to protect the carpet as well as putting blue tape so that any drips that fall don't hit the baseboard. All right, let's go see what it looks like.
that was my video on how to do a mountain uh, scenery with sunset colors. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope I've inspired you. Um, it wasn't so hard and it was a lot of fun and I learned a few things and one tip I will say is that when you are doing the uh, transitions from one color to another, I would re recommend that you leave a half an inch gap in between the two colors just so that it leaves your paint to dry completely. Um, do all the colors first, leaving that gap, and then go back in with one of the two colors. And I used a smaller paintbrush and I was able to do a much nicer cut in and clean uh, line between the two colors. That way you're not doing it when the paint is somewhat wet because when it's wet, it tends to bleed into the other color and then you don't have that nice look. It tends to look a little muddy. So for the materialist in this video, the paint I was able to go to the local hardware store and get the um, sample sizes which were inexpensive, but the brushes and the trays, if you click the description you'll see where I bought those and I am particular about the brushes. I do think that some brushes are higher quality than others and the ones that are higher quality not only do they last longer, they're easier to use and they just apply so much nicer than the less expensive ones. So click the description and you'll be able to see what kind of paint brushes I use. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, sub smash that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with videos on how to create a beautiful home, DIYs, and also just living an amazing, wonderful life. And until then, guys, have a great day. Stay savvy. Blah, 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 blah.